everybody and welcome to the broadcast. It's going to be a good show today. I need you to go and grab your Bibles, get your cup of coffee, get whatever you need. We're going to be talking about some wonderful things today. But first, it is Mother's Day and happy Mother's Day to all of the beautiful, fantabulous, awesome, powerful, strong, good looking women out there that are mothers. Let me tell you something. Being a mother is an awesome and amazing calling. And I believe that every one of you, whether anybody tells you or not, that you are doing a fabulous job being a mother. Mothers are the epitome of strength. They are a tower. They are just good, well-rounded people, and you all are doing a marvelous job. So happy Mother's Day to all of you, from the mother with no children yet, to the mother with 10 children, to the mother with 50 children. God bless you, and happy Mother's Day. So today we're going to be talking about the mother of all mothers. There are some good mothers out there, but I want to talk to you today about the mother of us all and the mother that is always there. So grab your Bibles. We're going to go to, um, first we're going to go to Genesis, and I just have a few notes here today. I want y'all to bear with me. Uh, we're going to go to Genesis 17 and 1. And Genesis 17 and 1, when Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abraham and he said to him, I am almighty God. Walk with me and be blameless. And Exodus 3 and 13. And we're going to, I'm going somewhere. So stick with me. I'm going somewhere. Exodus 3 and 13. Moses said to God, suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me here. Uh, has sent me to you. And they asked me, what is his name? What then shall I tell them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, say to the Israelites, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. And this is my name forever. The name you shall call me from generation to generation. Well, I want to talk to you a little bit today about the great I am. And I I, I, I want to, I, I share those scriptures because I feel like you need to understand that God is almighty. In fact, the Hebrew word for Shaddai in Genesis 17 and 1, when he referred to himself as God Almighty, that word can be translated into uh, Shaddai. It is Shaddai. And the root word for Shaddai is breast. It literally translated, it means the many-breasted one. There are two root words for the word. And the first is to be powerful, almighty. And the second is breast or nourisher and sustainer. Now, all throughout the Bible, uh, God reveals himself by many names to express an aspect of his character that is really vital for us to know because we need to know the character of God. One in particular stands out to me, and that one is I am. When he said, I am. See, Moses looked at God and he said, listen, you're sending me to the Israelites, and you want me to tell them that someone is sending me to deliver them. So how in the world am I supposed to tell them that this God is sending me to deliver you? They're going to ask me, who, who sent you? And I'm supposed to tell them I am. When Moses asked God, he said, who Am I supposed to tell these people that sent me? And God said, I am. And I can imagine Moses is like, I am. I am who? I am what? And God said, I am that I am. In other words, God was saying to him, I am whoever they need me to be. I am whoever you need me to be. I am that I am. And here, here's the thing. Um, I love the fact that El Shaddai is translated many-breasted one. God says, I can be whatever you need me to be. Now, here's the thing that I love right here. Now, if God is I am, and he is, he says, if he says that I am the great I am, that I am. Now, if God can be anything, he needs to be 
Why can't he be mama? Why can't he be mama God? Why can't he be? See, that's why he calls himself El Shaddai, the many-breasted one, the nourisher, the sustainer, the protector, the provider. El Shaddai. El Shaddai, the many-breasted one, the nurturer. Shaddai, the almighty God, the creator, the maker of all things in heaven and in earth, the builder of all things, eternal, everlasting king who is sovereign and answers to no one. There is nothing too hard for him. He has unlimited power and he can be anything that he wants to be. And I am here today to tell you that he can be El Shaddai. He can be the many breasted one. He can be mama God to us. And see, today we are celebrating mothers all over the countries. And mother, you are doing a wonderful job. But I want to talk to you today about the one that can be anything that you need him to be. I want to talk to you about the one that can sustain you and the one that can provide for you and the one that gives you everything that you need. God refers to himself as El Shaddai, the one that you can take a hold of and the one that can do any and everything for you. Just like a mama, he can come to your aid and he can be there for you when things are not going well. He can be everything for you. He said, I am Jehovah Jireh. I am your provider. He is everything for you. And just like a mother, he provides for you every day of your life. Let's talk on. See, we have the image of what it means to be a good mother. And in most cases, it's a beautiful thing. But on today, while we are celebrating all various types of mothers and what it means to be a mother or what it means to have a good mother, none of us can even begin to touch the image of El Shaddai, the God who becomes mama whenever he needs to. Here's the thing. I love the movie The Shack. I'm going to tell you something. I went to see that movie, and in my opinion, it is the best movie that has ever been written. And I'll tell you why. In the movie, the man had suffered a tremendous loss, where he had lost his family. He had lost his child. He had lost everything, and he was broken beyond repair. And when God had to come to him, he came to him in form of a mother. He came to him in the form of a of, of a of a of a woman. I'm sorry. He came to him in the form of a woman. And I like the way they depicted it in the movie because she was a black woman. She was large, she was strong, she was authoritative. And at that point, in his most broken state, he needed a mother. He needed a nurturer. He needed a sustainer. He needed someone that was going to love him back to life and love him back to health because he was broken beyond repair. And sometimes when you are in a situation where you are broken beyond repair, you need a nurturer. You need a sustainer. You need someone that is going to be there to be able to love you back to life and love you back to health. And that's what mothers do. It doesn't matter what that child does because that mother has that child's back. That child can rob a bank. It can kill someone. But it doesn't really matter because what the mother sees is someone that needs love and someone needs to be restored and someone that needs to be healed and someone that needs to be free and someone that needs to be comforted. And that's what God is. And that's what I love the most about the movie The Shack. Because at the time that he needed someone to love him back to help, he was so broken and so hurt and so angry with God. He needed someone that could say, hey, look, everything is going to be all right. I come to you in the form of a mother where I'm going to grow grab you in, the, in my arms and I'm going to nurture you back to life. I'm going to love you back to the point where you begin to love yourself. I'm going to love you back to the point where you begin to love your calling. I'm going to love you back to the point where you begin to love that, that I have a plan for your life that far exceeds any hurt, any pain, any disruption in your life. I love the fact that God calls himself El Shaddai, the many breasted one, the one that is able to take you back and to put you in a position where life has come against you and you have no hope and you have no dreams and he is able to take you and be a nourisher and to be a sustainer in your life to the point where he can nourish you back to life. Oh, I know what it means to have El Shaddai to come back in my life. 
I went through a season in my life where I was broken and I felt that I was broken beyond repair. But El Shaddai stepped in on the scene and he began to love me back to hell. He began to love me back to life. He began to show me that there is a greater plan for what you went through. I'm going to, I know it hurt and I know it broke you and I know you wanted to give up and stop living. I know you didn't want to have anything to do with me, the church, your husband, your family, or anything. But he said, I'm here right now. El Shaddai is here. And I got many breasts. I know you need nourishment. I know your heart needs to be healed. I know your life needs to be healed. I know your family needs to be healed. I know your marriage needs to be healed. And El Shaddai is on the scene. And all I need you to do is to latch on to one of the breasts that I have. I know that you need to be sustained right now. I know that on the inside you are broken and you feel like life for you will never be the same. But El Shaddai is on the scene. I don't know what you're going through and I know that your mother may not be here on this Mother's Day. And I know that she was the only one that was in your corner. And I know that she was the only one that you felt at your back. But I am here today to tell you about the mother of all mothers. The mother that loves you with an unconditional love. The mother that has a plan for your life. The mother that steps in and say, hey, not no, uh, uh you can go that far, but you're not going to go any farther because I got my baby's back. I don't know what you're missing today. And I know that you think that life is never going to be the same, but I am here today to tell you that you have a mother that cares for you. We have a mother that sustains us. We have a mother that is always in our corner and his name is El Shaddai. His name is El Shaddai and he is always there for you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He'll never turn his back on you. You know why? Because he can. He said that I will never no leave you and no matter what you go through, no matter what valley you walk through, El Shaddai is always going to be there with you to sustain you in everything that you go through. El Shaddai he knows how to take care of his children. He knows how to become mother when you need it. Back to the shack. In the movie, when he needed him to be, mama God, he was. But here's the thing. When he got ready to go through the darkest place of his life, where he had to confront the pain that he went through, where he had to confront the hurt that had almost killed him, when he had to come through that darkest place so that he could live again. Guess what? El Shaddai showed up as Father God. Oh, woo, yes. El Shaddai showed up as Father God because in times when you're having to, re you're having to walk through the darkest place of your life, in times when you feel the weakest and you feel like you need that strength, El Shaddai will show up on the scene as a father. And fathers are symbolic of strength. Fathers are symbolic of fight and protection. And at that time, that's what he needed the most. I'm so glad that El Shaddai knows how to come in our lives in the way that we need him the most. I am so glad that he knows how to take care of his children. I'm so glad that he knows how to cover and protect them. I am so glad that he knows how to protect us to the point where he says, and he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall I'll abide under the shadow of El Shaddai, meaning that I'm going to protect you. I know that you're going through a dark place. I know that you're having to confront some things that you don't want to. I know that you're having to confront those things because until you do, you cannot live. So therefore, I'm going to cover you under the shadow of my almighty wings. Oh yeah, he knows how to hide you. He is El Shaddai. See, when the enemy comes for you, he knows how to hide you. He knows how to provide for you. He knows how to cover you up. There were so many times in the time that I was going through the darkest season of my life that El Shaddai showed up and hid me from the world. He hid me because I was a ball of tears. He hid me because I was a ball of emotions. He hid me because I was no good for nobody. He hid me because I was no good for my congregation. Because every time that I stood up, I was in 
tears. He hid me. El Shaddai knows how to hide you. He knows how to cover you because he is El Shaddai and he can be whatever we need him to be. He knows how to provide for his children. He is almighty. Who is El Shaddai to you today? What do you need him to be for you today? I know your mother's gone. I know that you always grieve looking forward to this day. I know that every time Mother's Day rolls around, you're crying, you're depressed, you're sad. But El Shaddai sent me here today to tell you that he's the mother of all mothers and he's here to comfort you. Here's what God told me a long time ago. My mother has been, has been gone now for 21 years. I can't even believe it. 21 years she's been passed. And the thing is, when she passed, I thought that I would never be the same. I honestly did. I thought when my mother passed, I thought that I would never be the same. And I'm going to tell you why. My mother was my greatest cheerleader. She was always in my corner. Every time I went to preach, there she was. Um, every Everything that I needed, there she was. On Sundays, where was I? With my mom. She was my greatest supporter. And I know a lot of you can identify with that. And I thought that when she passed, I would never be the same. I thought that uh, immediately, the minute that I was told that she was gone, immediately my, my, my thoughts went to, my life is never going to be the same. It's just never going to be the same. And, and I had started to plan to make memorials of loss. And the Holy Spirit told me, don't you dare make a memorial out of every holiday to grieve. Your mother is with me and she is rejoicing and she is healed. She is whole. She is healthy. And so I decided at that time that I would not take birthdays, Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day and all other holidays to grieve my mother. I decided that I'm going to take these holidays and these national days where everybody decides that they're going to grieve. And I decided that I'm going to celebrate my mother and I decided that I'm going to rejoice and I'm I'm going to talk about the good times, the happy times, and, and the low times, and all of the times. I decided that. You know why? Because I decided that I'm going to have El Shaddai to be everything that I need him to be. And I'm going to tell you something. I know that you want to grieve today, and I know you do, but there is a mother. There is a mother and he calls himself the great I am. He says, I am that I am and I can be whatever you need me to be. And on Mother's Day, I'm going to be that mother that you need. I'm going to be that nurturer that you need. I'm going to be that comforter that you need. I'm going to be the one that you need to sustain you, to help you get through this. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I want to ask you this question. Who is El Shaddai to you? Who is God to you? Is he El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty? Is he uh, Yahweh, the Lord your God? Who is he? Is he Jehovah Nisi, the Lord your banner? He wants to be. He wants to put a banner of protection around you. He wants to raise a standard for you. He wants to be there for you every step of the way. Is he Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals? He wants to heal you everywhere you hurt. He wants to heal your pain. He wants to heal you through everything that you're going through. He knows. He understands. He understands that you just lost your mother two weeks ago. He wants to be Jehovah Rapha, your healer. He wants to be Jehovah Shammah to let you know that he is there. He wants to be Jehovah Tiskanu, the Lord, your righteousness. He wants to be Jehovah Jireh, the God that will provide for you, the God that will provide peace for you. That will provide love for you and joy for you on a day where you want to fall apart, on a day where you don't want to, you don't want to get up and face the day. But no, I came here today to tell you about Jehovah Jireh, your provider. I came here to tell you about El Shaddai, God Almighty, the great I am. The one that can be whatever you need him to be. And today, he wants to be your mother. Today, he wants to nurture you. He wants to sustain you. Can't nobody love you. Can't nobody comfort you. 
Can't nobody provide for you, nourish you, encourage you, and protect you like El Shaddai? He's the great I am. He is almighty. He is a great comforter. He is the many-breasted one. And I'm so glad that he is the many-breasted one because that means that nobody gets left out today. That means that nobody that has suffered a loss gets left out today. That means that everybody gets nourishment because he is the many-breasted one. He is the one that is there. I am so glad that he is El Shaddai. I am so glad that he is. Because he's, he's, he's there today to let you know that I can sustain you and I can get you through this. I can get you through anything that you are going through because I'm a mama. I'll never forget when my daughter was little and she was in the bathtub and I'll never forget it. She was probably about four or five years old and I was in my office, which was all across, away across the house. Bishop was in his den uh, uh, studying, and I heard angels scream out, Mommy! Mommy! And you know, in a mother's mind, immediately I was up in a millisecond and I was running across that house and my husband was trying to get to Angel too. I knocked him out the way. I was pale, knocked him out the way because all I could hear is mommy, mommy. And I got in there to find out what the matter is. I'm here today to tell you that's exactly how God is. When you call out to him, he stops being God and he becomes El Shaddai, the many-breasted one, the God who is able to act like a mother, and he steps in the way, and if the devil is trying to come at you, he knocks the devil out the way, because all he can hear is his baby saying, Mommy, Mommy, you ain't got to call him Father God. All you got to say is Mommy, and God is on the job, baby. That's what he does. I am so glad that he calls himself El Shaddai, the many-breasted one. Here's the thing, and I'm about to close. So yeah, it's a Mother's Day. And happy Mother's Day to everybody. You're doing a fantabulous job. You're a great mother. However, there is one mother that is above all the rest. And he calls himself the great I am. Calls his own self El Shaddai the many-breasted one, meaning that he can be whatever we need him to be. And because he can be whatever we need him to be, why can't he be mommy today? He wants to be mommy today. He wants to be your mama. He wants to comfort you in a way that no one else can. So I ask you today, celebrate him. Celebrate El Shaddai the many-breasted one, the God, the great I am, the am that I am that I am that I am, who can be whatever he wants to be. Celebrate him today on this beautiful Mother's Day because he is the mother of all mothers. Oh, hallelujah. I need somebody to shout El Shaddai right now, the many-breasted one. I don't know what Mother's Day is going to be like for you. But I know for me, I have decided that Mother's Day is going to be everything for me because I am celebrating not only the memory of my mother that has gone on and is in glory with the Lord, but I am also celebrating the fact that the great I am, God Almighty, the great I am that I am, who is able to be whatever I need him to be, is also El Shaddai, who is a mother to me today. And I am celebrating that mother. So I need you today. I know your heart might be grieving and I know you might be sad, but I need you to pick yourself up and see that there is a mother of all mothers. And there is a mother that cares for you more than your natural mother could ever care for you. And his name is El Shaddai. And 
today. Lift up your voice, lift up your life, and celebrate him. And I want to pray for a few people that are grieving today. I understand, and I don't take it lightly. I don't take it lightly that you're grieving the fact that your mother is not here to celebrate with you. But I want to pray for you and let you know that there is a mother that is above all mothers that loves you with an everlasting love and has the greatest plan for your life that you could ever ask, think, or imagine, that you could never even imagine the great plan that God has for your life. And he loves you and he needs you to see him today as a nurturer, as a sustainer, and as a provider. Let's pray. Father, we bless you. Father, I love you because you're so amazing. And Father, you have the ability to morph yourself into anything that we need you to be. Today, some are out there and they are watching and they need you to be a mother to them. They need you to comfort them and to heal them and to touch them everywhere they hurt. Right now they're hurting because their mother is not here on this holiday. Right now they're hurting because their mother just passed and they weren't able to be with them because of this virus. But Father, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus that you will be El Shaddai today for them and that you will nurture them and that you will sustain them and that you will provide strength for them in a way that they need it the most. And I'm asking you, Father God, that you would take them, Father God, and put them on your breast. You are the many-breasted one and nurture them and strengthen them, Lord God, that they will be able to get through this season. And Father, for that, I give you the glory and I give you the honor. Father, you are amazing and we are so honored, Lord God, to be able to call you El Shaddai today. Now, Father God, bless, heal, deliver, and recover today. The health, the goodness, the love, the joy, the peace in the hearts of those that are missing their parent in Jesus name. And we give you glory and honor for that. Father, you are amazing. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for tuning in today. Listen, I hope that this broadcast was able to bless someone. I hope that you were able to get something out of this and that you were able to see God in a whole different light because so many times we just see God as judge and we just see him as this being that is there, that is trying to destroy uh, us because we're not perfect in every way. That is not the God that we serve. We serve the great I am, God Almighty. I am that I am. And today he wants to be El Shaddai in your life, the many breasted one. And he wants to bless you. So thank Thank you so much. And I pray that you were able to see him that way today. Thank you so much for tuning in. God has a blessing for you. Hold your head up. Go out and celebrate. Mothers, you are some of the best people on the planet. Put your lipstick on. I know there ain't no lot of restaurants to go to, but make yourself look good today and go out and celebrate the fact that you are blessed and highly favored and you've been given one of the greatest gifts of all, the gift to be a mother. God bless you. Bye-bye. Love you guys.